my name is Amy Medling. I'm a certified health coach and the founder of PCUSDiva.com. And welcome to another edition of the PCUS Diva podcast. And today we kind of a special surprise. We're doing a Google Hangout with the founder of the Morocco Method. His name is Anthony Morocco. And if you've been following PCUS Diva for a while now, you know that I talk a lot about my hair loss journey and I discovered the Morocco Method products back in September of 2014, and I've been using them ever since. And I'm just been so thrilled with the results, and I'm really happy and um, really honored to have uh, Anthony here with us to talk about Morocco Method and hair loss and. Um, and, and, more, and answer some more of my questions about why Morocco Method works the way it has for, for me. And so let's get started. So welcome, Anthony. Yeah, so Amy, we're really excited to join your podcast and to be part of your educational system. That's our favorite part. And hair loss is one of my great expertise. So fire away, because I know everything inside and outside. Great. Well, I would love for you to tell our listeners uh, a little bit about your background. Like, how did you come to develop these natural hair care products? Yeah, well, that's a long story. So I actually have a, an e-book, and you can go on my website, moroccomethod.com, and it's free. You can either do the audio or you can just download the book itself, but it's called Awaken Your Roots, and it starts off when I'm four years old into hair and basically having an experience with vegetation and nature. But I start off in the 60s, 1964, 65, in the most famous salon in the world at Kettis in New York City, working with the super rich and famous. So not the rich and famous, but the super rich and famous. And their hair looks spectacular, but they're having hair loss issues and we're basically realizing that a lot of the things are carcinogenic and chemical. So from the early 60s, I started realizing that I had to come up with some type of real natural hair care line that would be strictly botanical. And I've been evolving with that idea for the last 50 years and still working with it. So we have fire, air, earth, water, and ether, the five elements. And that's what I have structured the whole company on is the five fingers, five toes, five senses, five types of hair on the body. And of course, the five elements. So I, you know, I love that approach. I, as a health coach, um, I like to bring in other um, philosophies of of healing. And Ayurveda is one of my favorites. And in Chinese medicine, with the the elements, um, I think is uh, you know we're so focused on kind of the Western. Um, methodology of healing that we we don't really um, give these sort of Eastern philosophies the attention that they deserve and um, I, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about the the five elements and how that relates in your system to healthy hair yeah so first of all we um, build an immunity against everything that we use constantly so in other words if I ate just cauliflower, my body would start breaking down and it would soon collapse. It's the same thing with our toothpaste, skin care, hair care, dental care. So in the East, basically, they understand that we need to alternate different elements. And that's what created the five elements, which is nature trying to tell us we have five toes, five fingers. So with my hair care line, I teach everyone to alternate, not just to use a shampoo or a conditioner or a moisturizer. But we need to have five elements brought in, which is fire, then we have air, then we have earth, then we have um, ether. So we have to understand that we're composed of these five different elements and that what makes us really healthy. So I met an amazing woman back in 1965 in New York City Dr. Cecilia Liu, who's a master Chinese herbalist and acupuncturist. I met her socially, we became good friends, and she started turning me on to all these different philosophies. And then I um, got introduced to Bruce Lee's master from Cecilia Liu, 
and we evolved over to that type of structure of Tai Chi and then I Qigong. So I actually have been in Qigong almost 50 years, but I've been teaching for 35 years. So the five elements and alternating is very critical for our health, for every aspect we can imagine, not only hair care, but our health in general. So women with PCOS, we uh, have an endocrine disorder, and uh, oftentimes we're put on birth control pill to help regulate cycles and kind of balance out hormones. And um, it really acts as, I, I think, more of a Band-Aid for the situation. And a lot of times, and this was me, when you come off of the pill to then try to get pregnant, then you experience this crazy hair shed. Um, and I, I have found throughout my life that I've had like these post pill hair sheds. I've had um, kind of that telogen effluvium, like after a stressful event, I've had hair loss. I've um, dealt with some seasonal hair loss, but I think from, for uh, most of us with PCOS, we're dealing with androgenic, androgenic alopecia. Um, and I can tell you that um, I, it's now spring, I, I live in New Hampshire, and every spring, at, by this time, I would be losing fistfuls of hair um, in fall as well. And I think that was one of the reasons that I kind of went looking for another solution because last fall I was experiencing some seasonal, well, really summer that ex, um, extended from the spring, seasonal hair loss. And I can tell you since using Morocco Method, it's, I have very, very minimal shedding. This, I mean, probably what normal women would experience. So I'm just really thrilled about it. Uh, but I was wondering if you could maybe address th those different types of hair loss and especially um, you know, paying some particular attention to androgenic alopecia, kind of tell us why Morocco Method can help um, with those issues. Well, first of all, I've been dealing with you know hair loss and thinning for 45 years, up to 50 years. But the main cause is by basically using the incorrect product. So women are um, obviously biologically quite different from men. You give birth to children, which is very powerful. So nature has equipped you quite differently. And I've never really seen much women losing hair except the last seven years. It's been shocking. So back in the 60s and 70s, it was rare to see women having hair thinning or loss at all. And right up to about seven years ago, it started an epidemic. So I became quite um, aware of it being my specialty and looking at it much more seriously. And I try to explain things one and one equals two, so I don't try to get too complicated. So what's happening with the hair loss today is that our chemicals are way too strong. What that means is that if we did sodium lauryl sulfate back in the 60s and 70s, now the SLS, which is our foaming agent, which is sulfuric acid, has 1,500% times itself, which is very shocking. And that's happening with all the different types of um, products with what's made in the laboratory. The laboratories are getting takeover getting way too strong with these. And so hair loss has become an epidemic for women, which has never happened before. So that's why I'm really excited to talk about this. So let's take a look at how do you read your ingredient list? So Amy, you're talking about since you started with Morocco Method, your hair loss has subsided almost to the point where you're back to normal. So that's really encouraging to realize if you stop using chemicals and you stop doing chemical processes. So I have a lot of, we have hundreds of videos on our website, and I encourage everyone to go and watch the videos, educational literature, because it's a vast educational system, and it's not so, you know, simple, but in this, in this podcast alone, we're basically going to explain in a brief amount of time what it takes to really take care of your hair and not have hair loss and experience that at all, and so very simply, you need to learn how to read your ingredient list. So that's really important. So is the ingredient coming from a laboratory or is it coming from nature? So they may say they have horsetail. They may have say that they're having aloe vera. They can say that they're having, you know, a botanical seaweed or a clay inside. 
But you have to find out, is that really from nature? In other words, is it from a plant? Or is that aloe vera coming from a chemical? Is it made in a laboratory? So that's very crucial, right? Then also processes like bleaching, dyeing, perming, hair straightening is a catastrophe. Um, this Brazilian blowout thing turned out to be a real blowout, a real nightmare for a lot of women. So I basically go to the right to the cause. Why don't you just check on our lifestyle? So when you get up in the morning, what you're touching and using all day long is what's causing hair loss. And of course, stress is a big component of it also. So I'm glad that you brought that up. So in our lifestyle, besides what we're using, eating, so are we breathing properly? Are we using our body properly? I mean, I tell everybody, we had a contest last year and said, what's the most healthy food on planet Earth? What's the number one healthiest food on planet Earth? And we did it on Facebook and spread it all over the world, and we had a contest. And everyone was saying, hmm, is it avocados? Hmm, is it bananas? They were like checking out all this food, and it came out to be the healthiest food on planet Earth is oxygen. What we're breathing, that's your greatest food source of all. So when we wake up in the morning, are we doing breathing exercises? During the daytime, are we doing breathing exercises if we have any stress in our life? And the same thing when we go to bed. So I encourage everyone to check out your local yoga studios, your Tai Chi studios, your Qigong studios, and learn how to do basic breathing. So if you go to Dr. Andrew Weil, W-E-I-L, M-D, he has the greatest audio on breathing I've ever heard. And there's two CDs in his, it's called Breathing by Dr. Andrew Weil. And the first audio is all about the history. And the second one is how to different exercises. And I encourage everyone, including myself, I do this all the time, is breathing exercises. So the food is there, the breathing exercises cuts down the stress and it also oxygenates every cell in our body. So I forgot whoever counted, but they're talking like 50 million cells in our body. So we need to feed them. We need to oxygenate them. And there's a very simple breathing exercise to do that. And a lot of um, wellness practitioners teach breathing. So I encourage everyone to Google, look at Dr. Andrew Wiles' breathing CDs and get more educated. Yeah, I, and we talk a lot about um, stress reduction. Actually, we had a wonderful podcast with Dr. Victoria Mazes, who is, um, Andrew Weil was her mentor, and we talked about the 478 breath that he um, really recommends, and it's something that we do in my Jumpstart program. So yeah, I love that you're talking about breathing, and it's really a holistic approach. I mean, you, you have to look at your diet, and um, your entire lifestyle it really adds to the um, whether you have healthy hair. And, and I also think that the ingredient list is so important because you, things like parabens and um, phthalates, they, they are endocrine disruptors. So they're also really messing with hormones. And that's really one of the reasons that I wanted to go to a, a natural um, product. And uh, I've kind of transitioned over the last year. I was using a shampoo bar which I talked about on my site. Um, and I liked it for a while, but I think it goes to just what you said about you, you have to switch things up. After a while, my hair started getting really heavy and it just wasn't working the way it was anymore. So I actually was kind of going back to my site, back to my old, old articles, and I noticed uh, one of the, the women that um, commented on one of my hair, I think it was on that Natural Bar article, mentioned that she loved the Morocco method. So I thought, well, I have, I've got to check this out. And I, and I will say that I, when I did go to the site and saw all of these different products, the, the you know, five different shampoos and conditioners and detoxes, it, it was a little bit overwhelming. And there was definitely, for me, a learning curve. And I know in my blog article, I tried to really lay that out, um, what I do and what works for me. But why don't, can you kind of um, talk us through your, your product line and if somebody – wants to get started, where do you start? Very good, very good. Yeah, it can be very complicated. And again, I'm one in one equals two. So 
simplicity is genius, and that's what Albert Einstein taught. He would say, you know, you're never going to get it. You're, you're never going to understand what's going on because you're too complicated. So that's why I try to bring it down to the basics. That's why there's five elements. When you look at your hand or look at your foot, you have five, five senses. So I have five shampoos, the fire, air, earth, water, and ether. And the reason we do that is because that's what the body is composed of. So you want to alternate these five shampoos. Let's say, well, I don't want to buy five shampoos. I want to start off with one. Which one would you recommend? So we say, well, do you have dry hair? Do you have oily hair? Do you have normal hair? So that brings you down to one and one equals two. Which one would you start with? So you can figure out on my website like which shampoo is talking to you. And that's what you want to learn is you want to learn your sixth sense of intuition. Like we try to find out like, come on, you have your own intelligence, use it. So what's really calling to you? So what I suggest is you pick up a shampoo and use that and you'll start detoxing. So that's another conversation we're going to get into. So the detox process is that we have the whole body detoxes our Limb system is detoxing, our kidneys are detoxing, and that this is really important. And when they stop detoxing, then they start storing into our glands, and that's really dangerous, and that's carcinogenic. And once that happens, we get dis-ease. So starting off with the shampoos, pick out one of them, try it, then add another one in. If you can, and if you're brave enough, get all five. You can start off with our two-ounce shampoo to try to start. And that's the, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the sea shampoo is from normal to dry hair, where the earth essence would be from normal to oily hair. And then the palm pine shale is for all types of hair. The apple cider vinegar is for all types of hair. It addresses alopecia. It addresses dandruff. It addresses psoriasis. We also have the large size shampoos. So you can see the difference, two ounces and then the 12 ounce. So start off with our two ounce, give it a try. And then it doesn't foam, so that's kind of shocking, but nothing foams but sulfuric acid. So you have to be more savvy and understand, and a lot of people do like no poo shampoo, right? So they don't, they don't trust the laboratories any longer. They're really dangerous, but that is very drying. It dries out our scalp, it dries out our hair, and it's not, something that a person can continue for too long. But if you want to do um, a dry shampoo, we have a Zen Detox, which I'll talk about later, which is a detox process. And you can actually use that for a dry shampoo. But start off with one of our five or two or five, and then alternate. So what I do is I simply take and line them up in the shower. Mm -hmm. so I pick up from the left, so I don't have to like, Think about where did I leave off? I shampoo, shampoo twice, a little twice, a little bit, brush it into the hair and scalp. And then what happens is it gets rid of the debris and the dust and the buildup and the oil. And then you rinse it out. Then you put a little bit more in, you massage it into the scalp. And now you want to work it in. So that's really going to like, and your hair is going to eat this because it's all natural botanicals. Then when you're finished shampooing, put it back on the right. So the next time you come in the shower, you don't have to think, where did I leave off with? You just pick up from the left, always, and put it back on the right. Then we have a wonderful scalp massager that's 100% rubber. We're the only ones in the world that have 100% rubber scalp massager, and it has all these little knobs on it, and it actually stimulates the hair and scalp, which that means it gives you blood and air circulation. And you can use it on your hands. I use it on my face, the back of the neck. It's fabulous for stress. If you're on the computer, you can do the back of your shoulders, which I leave one by my computer. I leave one in my car. If the, if the traffic's a little stressful, I'll take it out and start massaging myself and then doing the breathing exercise like Amy's, Amy's talking about, which is classic, the four, seven, and eight. It's very powerful. So that's the shampooing process, and don't be alarmed that it doesn't foam. It's not supposed to. But your hair is so clean afterwards, everyone's shocked and goes, wow, I shampooed once and my hair was really clean. I couldn't imagine. I thought I was doing something wrong because there's no foam. Yes, yeah, so, 
So two things about the shampoo. I know I kind of made the mistake of putting the shampoo directly kind of on my hair. It was too heavy. So now what I do is I have an empty little, like a travel size bottle. I squirt probably, I don't know, a nickel size, because I have short hair, and maybe even a little bit less, and then add the water, shake that up really good, and then that's what I use, and it just works really well, and I don't have, um, it's not heavy. And then the thing that surprised me is that I didn't really need conditioner anymore. Once I got through the detox process, which we'll talk about, um, I'm fine with just the shampoo and very minimal styling product. I, I actually use your, um, the, the mist, the diamond, not the diamond mist, sapphire mist, volumized. Oh. Yeah, and that's really all I need for styling, which is, which is amazing because I used to have about, I don't know, five different products. I had a root booster and texturizer and all kinds of stuff but that's all I need now, and it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, really, really, that's great information because what Amy's saying is that our, our shampoos are super concentrated. So for my type of hair being short, I use it straight up. But women basically sometimes with thicker hair and longer hair, and especially if it's down to your waist, may have a problem you know, using a super concentrated shampoo. So our 12-ounce shampoo is easily equivalent to 48 ounces, very easily. And yeah, it lasts I, I know I bought my um, large bottles. I bought the five, all five shampoos back in November. So the little ones lasted me from September to November, maybe beginning of December. And I'm like probably a third of the way through. So here we are in May. And yes. I purchased them in like December, started using the large bottle in December. So they last a very long time. Yeah, because they're super concentrated. So what Amy is suggesting is you can just take the top off of this, add some water in it, shake it up, and then keep adding water in it. Or you can just take another bottle and put half the shampoo in and half of water. And you'll find that goes through the hair a lot easier than super concentrated. So if your hair is really wavy, coarse, thick, and a lot of it, you can make little parts. If you can part your hair, put the shampoo in the parts, only in the scalp, then massage it into the scalp. And then when you rinse it, the water basically will take the shampoo and bring it all the way down to the ends of your hair. Your hair will be super clean. You don't need to use a lot of it. But add water to it, you'll see that it will be a lot easier to use on thicker, on longer hair. So, sorry, explain to me then why is Morocco Method working for me? Um, just kind of stopping the hair loss. I'm seeing lots of new regrowth. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but I've, I've got all these baby hairs. My hair is really filled in. I don't, can't really see my hair, um, my scalp, as much as I used to have to use the hair powder. And I actually have um, logs about the different you know, keratin fibers and stuff that I used to use to cover up the scalp. I don't need them anymore. Um, but what, what's, what's making the difference? What is it doing to my hair? Yeah, so the miracle worker of Morocco Method is plants. It's really simple. We have no artificial, nothing made in the laboratory. And what's happening, what Amy is saying, is if you pull your hair back and you look at the hairline, you'll start seeing little baby hairs. And here it is spring. And I'll pull my hair back, and I'm getting little baby hairs coming in. And I've been doing this for 50 years, right? So for everybody, there's four seasons. And spring is the greatest time to rejuvenate and to, you know, to get your soil, your scalp ready to plant and to produce new, new baby hairs. And then in the spring, you'll have an enormous amount of growth. It'll go on through the summer. Then in the fall, we start calming down less. And then in the winter, we have hibernation. You don't want anything to happen. You want to give the scalp a chance to rest in your growth patterns and your sebaceous glands, your oil glands. All of those follicles need to take a rest. It's the same as soil. It's the same as farming. That's why I like to explain it as one and one equals two. And what Amy's asking is about is, you know, what's caused all this new hair growth when she started using Morocco method? Well, it's really simple. First of all, you stop using all the chemicals. And so the chemicals are basically really aggravating the sebaceous glands. They're harming the oil glands. They're hurting the growth patterns. 
So there's all these different elements, like you have five fingers. So there's the lunar cycle, which we're going to talk about. And this, the, you know, the, the scalp massaging and the brushing really is important. We want to bring up the brushing. I mean, what we get here to remind me. So basically that we'll talk about too. So we need blood and air, just like the soil needs this and the oxygenation. So you're, so you're basically using the scalp massager, which is adding a lot more blood and air into the scalp. That's really important. And you're using a natural shampoo, natural conditioners. We have also moisturizers and a, and a, a high line of elixir line also. But what you'll see very fastly within like three to five days, an enormous difference from stopping everything you're using, especially shampoos. If you shampoo once, you'll see the difference. But if you shampoo for three or five times, then you'll start seeing a drastic difference. And you'll go into detox. You'll see your hair starting getting a little bit drier and matted. What that means is you're stripping off the wax buildup and all the additives that have been put onto your other hair care products. We strip that off just with our shampoos alone. And we have a special detox program with Zen Detox that will speed that up. That what helps that so now your scalp is getting alive, your hair follicles are opening up, your growth patterns are happy, and then your sebaceous glands, your oil glands are getting back into a better rhythm. So then you're going to start seeing new hair coming out. Mm -hmm. That's what Amy's talking about. You start seeing all these little baby hairs coming into the hairline. That's going through the whole head. We shed about 30 to 60 hairs a day. And I've been a hair loss master for a long time, and I've had thousands and thousands of clients come into me. I no longer personally see clients. I don't have to. We have all these videos, which we didn't have 30, 40 years ago. But you're finding out that you really will find that through these different techniques that your hair will grow back. Don't be alarmed if you see hair in the brush or you see hair in the scalp massager or if you see hair in the drain. It's a normal procedure. It's like our, our skin. You know, our skin basically is exfoliating. We're losing dead skin cells all the time. Same thing what's happening with hair. We're losing dead hair follicles so new ones can come in. But if you see hundreds of hairs or huge clumps come out, of course, that's very alarming. And that's why you need to stop using chemicals. So look at our henna. We'll talk about our henna also. And that's a natural hair care line that we have that addresses everything. So that's one of our big sales items that we have a lot of videos on and educate women on how to go blondes, how to go into browns, how to go into blacks. And then that takes us also out of chemicals, which is very important. So um, you brought up hair brushing. And when I started following the Morocco method, I'll tell you, I was very scared of the hair brushing. And I, and I know a lot of women listening can relate. Um, you know, our hair is thin to begin with, and we're losing it. And the last thing we want to do is to be, you know, kind of brushing our hair for three minutes twice a day. And I was very scared to do it, but I got the brush and I started brushing. And it, it, it's amazing the difference that it made in my hair. My hair um, was had so much more volume. Uh, and I think that's part of like getting rid of all of these products. Like, I don't need all of the volumizers. Because all I need to do is just brush my hair properly, um, and it and I think it that is a big part of the um, the the benefits that I've had with the Morocco method is the hair brushing. So talk to us about the hair brushing. Hair brushing is critical. I it, it's like um, even I've been introduced to hair brushing 50 years ago at Kenneth Salon. Everyone there was 160 operators on the salon. Everyone had a Mason Pearson hairbrush handmade in England. That's all we used in our clients. And you have a pure boar bristle, or you basically have a nylon mixture into it. So now I have these brushes actually made for us and with a high grade, very high grade of boar bristle. So the boars are well treated. They're shaved just like we shave sheep for wool. So what's happening is that we have an excess amount of sebaceous glands in our nape. So if you take your flesh and you squeeze it with your fingers, you'll see how thick it is. And if you come up here to the hairline and squeeze it how thin it is, 
That means we don't have hardly very much oil glands in the hair on the scalp, on the top. But in the back, we have an enormous amount. So in brushing, they learned hundreds of years ago that like with ducks, swans, so they were watching. That's how we've learned everything. That's what we've learned through Chinese herbology and acupuncture and all these different sources of ed education through Qigong and yoga by watching animals. That's where we evolved from. Watching the ducks, they would actually go to the back. They have this little oil pot in the back of them. And you see the duck bending over and with its beak hitting this oil pot. And then the beak gets full of oil. Then it takes its feather and it preens it. It gives it oil. And that's really what's helping the duck not sink in the water and be able to swim and have the, the, the elegance of a swan. So that's where the brush comes in. So bend, what I teach people, we have, again, videos, educational literature. You bend over first. You bend over your whole body. And you start brushing from the back as you're bent over. And you brush straight over. Now, you do that several times. Then you slowly stand up. And now your brush is full of this sebaceous oil, your natural oil that your body produces, the finest elixir in the world, only for you. Now the brush is full. Now you go to the hairline, which has hardly any oil glands, and you brush straight back to wherever it's comfortable. And now you're putting oil back into your hair, top layer, right? And the more you brush, the deeper and deeper it's going. So the educational structure of brushing your hair is bend over, stand up, bend over, stand up three times. And do that several times a day upon waking in the morning, going to bed at night. And this is a great stress buster, by the way. So anytime you feel stressful, there's a medulla oblongata back here, which has an enormous amount of energy. If you put stress back here, which we do in our shoulders a lot, then you're going to feel this high stress. So when I feel stressed, I do the four, seven, eight breathing exercise, and I also do the brushing, bend over, stand up. That takes a lot of it out and again the scalp massager but the brushing we have videos on and I highly recommend everyone to brush their hair with a high quality brush and no plastic doesn't work and no all these synthetic brushes don't work you need a natural boar bristle brush because this boar is the closest that we have to our own sebaceous glands and that's the only way you're going to get this natural sebum through your hair and it's luxurious. And this also does a dry brushing, so shampooing. So when you basically, you know, there's a day when you don't have time or you don't want to, you don't have to shampoo every day. Some people shampoo once a week. But when you bend over and stand up, you're dry shampooing. So if you think you need to shampoo, bend over and stand up several times, and you'll see your hair doesn't look oily any longer because you distributed that oil. Great, and you know, I'm gonna bounce back to the detox, because um, we didn't, uh, I don't think we covered that as, as thoroughly as I want to. So when I started using Rocco Method, and I had been using kind of no poo shampoos for, I would say a year, um, but I, I did notice, I did go through a detox period. My hair was, like you said, the matted, it was hard to kind of get the comb through afterwards. Um, it was a little heavier. But I did use the, the Zen detox clay kind of powder, um, mixed it with a little water, and put a, a hair mask on my hair. And I did that once a week. And that made a huge difference. And I probably, it took me probably a month. So, you know, if you, if you get Morocco Method, and I know my, my, I had to kind of coach my neighbor through it. She was experiencing some hair loss. And I told her, get the products. And she and had to kind of coach her to say, hey, just hang on few more weeks it's going to get better and and she sold on them too so can you just explain a little bit of what um what you do with the zen detox clay yes i would love to so amy i'm glad you're so supportive and educational because you're supporting all these women and men to understand even go to your next door neighbor or your family member and that's where it starts but the zen detox this is volcanic ash from italy and it's mixed up with different herbs so what this does, it helps us detox really fast. So it's a powder, as you can see in this pouch. 
and you mix it with water, it comes with very, very direct ingredient instructions, and you make it into a clay, clay base, like a cream. And it's like doing a facial. It's the same thing as we, we do facials, but people don't take it any further. So the Zen Detox mask, you basically mix it up, leave it in the bowl for 24 hours. Then you could use it the next day or the next week or the next month or the next year. It'll stay in this glass bowl for a long time. And basically, now you basically put it on your scalp, all through your hair. I do my whole face. I do my neck. I do my shoulders. In the summer, I do my whole body, and then I basically use it as a detox for the whole body. But when you use it on your scalp, it's speeding up, getting rid of all those chemicals, all that buildup, all that wax buildup, all the chemical buildup. So it's true, when you start using Morocco method, you're going to experience a detox. What that means is we're going to be stripping off the wax from your hair follicles. We're going to be taking off all that additives, like there's polymers, there's all different types of polymers are li literally petroleum what does that mean they're they're um petroleum it's <laughs> pretty scary right and it's plastic so a lot of our styling products are literally just liquid plastic and you want to get that not only off your hair follicle you want to get it off your scalp for god's sake you want to get it out of your brain cells you want to get it out of your head your crown chakra whenever i do a zen detox the next day my thinking is so much clearer for the next three or five days, I know that I've really done a very deep detox. So use our Zen Detox. It comes with great instructions, and we have videos on it. And you'll really be thrilled to do this and to get this buildup out of your scalp. And it helps the sebaceous glands. It helps the follicles. It helps the roots, all the growth patterns. It's miraculous. And once a season, I highly recommend it. So when you do, you buy one box, it's four ounces. Or you can buy just a one ounce to try. But I suggest doing the box. And this will give you three treatments. So in other words, you do it once a week for three weeks. to get a really deep Zen detox and get a detox going. And then do this every season because we never detox enough. Okay. And so speaking of seasons... Um, so I thought this was really interesting, your, your whole system of cutting your hair according to the lunar calendar. Um, so in, in maybe you can go into that and explain what the benefits and where you can find one of your lunar calendars. Yeah, I'm really, really glad you're bringing this up. Our lunar calendar has been going on for thousands of years. Everything's been done with the moon for thousands of years, but we've become sophisticated. We no longer you know, follow the lunar calendar. But I do um, a lunar calendar that I put on my website, and it's free. You can go right on my website, and it says lunar hair cutting dates. Again, there's five different dates a month, five fingers, five toes, five elements, five senses. Everything powerful in the universe is five. So we can do lengthening, strengthening, root work, beautifying. So any of these five different elements you can do per month. So let's say you want to grow your hair really long. So you'll look at the lunar calendar and you'll do lengthening. Let's say that you're having hair loss and you're experiencing hair thinning. Then you can do root work, you can do thickening, you can do strengthening. And let's say that your hair is really okay and you just want it to be more wavy or more luxurious and so we have a date per month to do beautifying. But I do a Mayan calendar, so I actually formulate this whole lunar calendar. It's the only one I know on planet Earth that's being done today in, in the strictest sense. So you go on the calendar, there's five different dates. And they'll be length, they'll be labeled lengthening, strengthening, thickening, root work, or beautifying. And you pick out which day per month you want to use. And you can do that once a month or every other month or once a season, but I highly recommend everyone, even when you have long hair and you want to grow it longer, to cut it at least once a season. You must, otherwise the, the hair will split. So if you have, this is one hair follicle, for example, if you don't cut that hair within four to six months, what's going to happen is it's going to split, and you're going to lose the length from the bottom coming up, right? So you see, 
thick, beautiful hair on the scalp. But as you look at some people, as their hair goes down lower and lower, it gets thinner and thinner. It's just that your hair is splitting. It's dry. It's not really healthy. So for God's sakes, cut those ends off. It's really healthy. And the other powerful element of the lunar hair cutting chart is that when you do cut your hair on a lunar date, it's equivalent to 12 to 18 acupuncture treatments. So imagine that how powerful that is. So people just really can't wait to do a lunar hair cutting date. When I'm getting ready for my hair to be cut, it could be a couple more days or a couple more weeks I have to wait, and I'm anxious because I really want that explosion of energy. But I have tens of thousands of clients that, or hundreds of thousands of clients around the world that use the lunar hair cutting chart and they swear by it. So look at our testimonials, go on the website, it's free and cut your hair by the cycle. You'll see the first lunar haircut. You'll, like hair grows, say, three to five inches per year. That's our normal growth pattern. Doing the lunar hair chart, your hair can grow from six to 12 inches a year. Shocking results. Wow, that's, well, that sold me right there. Um, so finally, I, I wanna just um, mention another product that I use. I purchased the, the elixir, the first starter elixir set um, in September, and I've kind of worked my way through it. It's the gold and silver elixir. It's kind of a hair oil. And now I'm on to the, um, the god and goddess elixir set. Um, tell us what the elixirs are doing. Um, you know, if we're getting the, the healthy um, oil, like our own natural oils from the hair brushing, what what's the elixir doing then yeah so for thousands of years from the egyptians and talk about ayurvedic principles that our body needs moisturizers they need oils so the oils are essentially necessary so i start off with the euro oil which is our least expensive moisturizer and then this is really great for the scalp and the hair Besides our natural sebaceous glands producing oil, like for thousands of years in tribal situations around the world, men and women would basically, like in Mediterranean, I'm Italian, we would use olive oil. Then if you're in Hawaii, you'd use coconut oil. And you'd soak your hair and scalp in this oil and leave it in for days, if not weeks. And then in Africa, they'd use bananas or avocados in South America. So we've done this for thousands of years because it's necessary. And now somehow we've stopped using a lot of natural oils and use synthetic ones, which is, again, everything that I'm against. So the Euro oil is really drop by drop, very powerful. You put it on your scalp, massage it in, put it through your hair. Do If your hair is really dry, do the ends. But what Amy's bringing up is we have three series of elixir oils that are really hybrid. These oils, drop by drop, are the finest botanical oils in the world. So the first series is the gold and the silver. The ones for oily hair and scalp, ones for dry hair and scalp. So you may want to only get one if you have an excessive oily or dry. But if you're not excessive and you're in between or normal, you'll get both. And you'll alternate between the gold and the silver and elixir. And you only use a couple of drops in our videos we have on it and also the educational literature is amazing but that's our startup and then from there we have four our second series is the god and goddess so we have four different types of elixirs in this series and therefore alternating again you start off on the left you do one per week for four weeks you let it rest for a week or you can rest for a month then whatever is left you do it again one a week for four weeks and this is, again, drop by drop, very, very strong. And this is what, I guess, the series that Amy's using. Mm -hmm. Then from the second series, we go to the third series, which is a tri-series. And this is very highly Ayurvedic, very highly Ayurvedic, this tri-series. It's our advanced series. So for hair loss and thinning, these elixir oils are amazing, starting with the Euro oil or going into the gold and silver or the four we're going into the three so the three is the ruby the emerald and the amber 
and they also have a lot of educational literature around them. But we need them for normal hair and scalp. It's necessary. If you're experiencing any kind of disease, like hair thinning, hair loss, psoriasis, dandruff, you'll find these miraculous to be using. But check our website out. Go to moroccomethod.com and look at our education literature. We have, we're highly an enormous educational center for not only hair and scalp, but for health. Yeah, and you have a great newsletter too. I really enjoy getting your, your newsletter. And, and you're right, lots of education. And I think, you know, listening to this podcast, um, sure there, there's, you know, some skeptics, but I, I can tell you, I mean, I was skeptical um, at first and, uh, you know, all of these different products, all the different shampoos, but honestly, Anthony, I don't think I will use anything else. And I actually take your shampoo with me to the hair salon because I don't want, I don't use their shampooing. I make them use, use Morocco method when they wash my hair before my haircut. So I'm... Um, you know, I love I love these products, and I just I really want other women who are struggling with PCOS related hair loss to give them a try because and get through that detox period, and that's important. You know, it's about it took me about a month, but it's just so well worth it, and um, I just I couldn't be happier. So, so thank you for for coming on and and sharing your your knowledge and talking more about your products. Uh, it's really been been a pleasure. Yeah, I'm really excited and grateful that you've had me on and for educational purposes, for everyone, the educational purposes is really important. It's like, I'm going to go back and we're going to cut and paste this back in, Amy, but I want to talk about what you ended with, with, with skepticism. And of course, people are skeptical. I've had so many thousands of people even email me and, you know, and contact my office and say, I am so sick of being lied to. Everyone says they have a natural this and they have an organic that. And I get it and it's not true. And I'm really angry because I'm having all these disease, all these you know, problems with my hair and scalp. So if you're lying, I'm going to personally come over and bop you one. And I go, good. I really appreciate that because you need to be skeptical. People have been you know, mistreated. They've been like deceived so many times. Well, like Amy is saying, Try it for your own health and for your own sake. And I was just realizing that we have even these trial and travel sets. You can buy one ounce of our product to try. They come in five packages or you can buy them separately. We do conditioners and we also do shampoos. But what Amy's talking about is that you need to get over to the other side. It's really important because the detox process is critical. If we really want to get healthy, and we need to be kind to our gut, for God's sake, our kidneys. They're detoxing all the time, and our heart pumping, and then our lymph system. This is like doing a lot of work. And if we're constantly putting in chemicals every day or every week, shampooing every day, putting in hair care products, conditioners, or in synthetic oils, of course your body's going to start breaking down and getting weak. I also wanted to mention that we have another fabulous line of the diamond crystal mist and the volume crystal mist. These are instant conditioners that we use. You can actually spray one, you can do the diamond one day and you can do the volume the next. And actually these are great conditioners. So you can spray your hair, you can spray your face. I have this in my car so I spray, boom, wake up. We have top models and photographers around the world to use this to really wake up the hair and to set your makeup. But yes, be skeptical. Try our products at least once. Even get a little sample size of the half ounce. Try We have conditioners and shampoos. But do yourself a favor. Look on our site. Watch our videos. Try it. And everyone says, everyone has said, no matter, I will never go back ever after using Morocco method. And the last thing I wanted to bring up was our henna. So our hair color. So we have not seven different shades of henna. So for example, if you have any white or gray hair, then we have a blonde henna that will turn every gray or white hair blonde. So you get a, the most fabulous sun streaking job in the world is from this blonde henna. We have a neutral henna, colorless henna, with no color at all. You can start off with that one. For, they're all conditioning because it's a natural plant. Then we have four shades of brown. 
three shades of brown. You can do light, medium, and dark. You can mix and match. We have a lot of videos on that. And then we have actually black. So you can go from the colorless, then we, go, we have red, which you can mix and match red for strawberry blondes or having some of the highlights. Or then you can just go to the blonde itself. But everyone who's used our henna also says they will never go back to hair color ever again because that's the most natural plant in the world for hair care. It's a great conditioner used for thousands of years. And I'm a master hair colorist, a master hair colorist from Kenneth's. And I walked out of Kenneth's in 1969 and never did color again because it's so carcinogenic. It's so not healthy. And I gave up a million dollar career back in the late 60s. And I've never looked back and I've been grateful to the higher powers for taking me on this journey and to educate people. So be healthy, be happy, and be as healthy as you possibly can and spread the news. We want to be as healthy as possible. So Amy, thank you, thank you, thank you. 13 million thank yous for spreading the word and endorsing and supporting Morocco Method. And we certainly support you. Oh, well, I'm happy to do it and just happy to have you on. And thank you everyone for listening. And until next time, goodbye.